Othello Act 3 Scene 2 In the small scene we find Othello working in a room in a castle. He prepares a report on the state in Cyprus and instructs Iago to give the pilot to send it to Venice. He then goes to inspect the fortifications. Now, it is said that most critics believe that this is perhaps the smallest scene written by Shakespeare. In all his dramas, this is one of the smallest scene because it contains only seven lines. Its main purpose is to indicate that a certain amount of time has lapsed since the previous scene and one is so overwhelmed with the emotions with activities that have happened in the earlier scenes that you need some kind of a relief, a small scene because maybe not much was required to do on the stage. So there's a tiny, this tiny scene was included. It also reveals that Iago has been successful in taking Othello away from Desdemona so that Casio can go to her to plead his case. Now, in this particular scene, Casio, uh, um, Othello is taken away by Iago so that Desdemona is alone and Casio can talk to her in private. Iago is to utilize this turn of events to his advantage. Now, we all know that Iago is full of mischief and he wants to utilize this particular uh, event for his advantage. And he would make Othello believe that the departing Casio in the next scene is in fact sneaking away after an illicit meeting with his wife. Now, he wants Othello to, he wants to poison the mind of Othello and later he wants Othello to see for himself that how Casio is moving away and sneaking away and he is having an illicit meeting with his wife, which can indicate that he is having a relationship with his wife. Some critics believe that Iago might have arranged it as it, it is evident that uh, evident from the last scene. Other critics believe that it is a mere chance incident which he uses to his advantage. Now we all know that all these events that are happening here are being manipulated by Iago for the benefit of he staying in the good books of Othello and Casio uh, should be removed entirely from the mind and the whole setup of Othello. Now, this is something which Iago has really planned beautifully. You, you, here we can we can praise Iago because of his managerial skills, because of his planning skills, that how he has been able to manipulate all these things against Casio. And how, because of his words, because of his actions, how come someone like Othello, with all this glib language, he believes Iago? Now, this is something very strange. But yes, this has happened. If this had not happened, probably the play wouldn't have happened. So, in Act 3, Scene 2, one of the smallest scenes, we have Iago uh, trying to create some space for Casio and Desdemona and also taking away Othello so that he can poison Othello's mind.